Hello there, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so my very, very recent clip was all about this product here from Schwarzkopf Got To Be Plumped Volumizing Hairspray. Now, I was styling my hair this morning and I thought to myself, hmm, how do I now make a sort of thought process or sort of connection between the both and how do I get it across on my channel and explain the difference because there is a difference so this is my absolute ultimate favorite now I really really like using this as my styling product and I like using it as my finishing product for a lot of my hairstyles particularly the one which I've got today I absolutely love a big volumized pompadour inspired style as you can see lots of volume on the side that sort of 1950s sort of Elvis Presley uh, real inspired real eye-catching sort of real very high end look, real polished, real sleek, lots of volume. But of course, with volume, you need good products to achieve that. Now, up until very recently, when I purchased this product, the one which I was using was this one here. So this is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray. Now this says for screaming hold. This quite literally is the most strongest, firmest hairspray I have ever come across. It is absolutely fantastic. The whole essence behind it, why it's so powerful and why it's so effective, is because it's dry. It's almost like of an instant your hair is dry and its style is locked in sort of instantly. Whereas this product, which is very, very new, I came across this very recently and I am enjoying using this product. And I thought to myself, they're from the they're from the same family, to be honest with you. They're from Schwarzkopf. They're both got to be. I thought how can you get better than this? Well, actually, this product isn't to actually take over or to replace this one. It's actually offering you a little bit more and it offers you, in a way, a bit more of an effective tool when coming to style your hair. So, for example, this clip is all about just comparing them, not hugely, but just bringing them together and just going through the differences. Now, there are no negatives. There's a little bit of a drawback on one of them, which I will go into, but they are both very, very good products. Now, yes, there is a size, dif uh, size difference because this here is a larger can, which because I use so much of this, I always buy a larger can. It is 500 mils. And of course, with that comes the price of a little bit more. I think it's around about the six pounds mark, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, Sometimes that can be a little bit more expensive, but I try to sort of catch it when it's on offer here in the UK. Um, and this one here, again, Around about the same type of price, I'm going to say. I paid £3 for this on special offer here in the UK. But this product, because I think it's a little bit more at the moment, because it's a new product, it's sort of a specialist product. Um, you know, those sort of extras which uh, different product lines bring out, they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So do just shop around for it, because first things first, that makes a huge difference. I would always say that just because you pay a lot for a hair product does not mean that it's going to deliver more. It does not mean that it's going to be a better quality at all. I have used really super expensive products and they haven't delivered, some have, and I've used really, really cheap products and some have delivered better than the more expensive ones. Let's get back to what we're talking about today. So ultimately, why and when would I choose to use this product here? So this is my absolute ultimate hero go-to product. I have it all the time, use it every single day. Whether my hair's straightened, whether it's got volume in it, whether it's got texture, I absolutely love this. Now, what I like about this is that as soon as you have styled your hair or as soon as you've blow dried your hair into a certain style, a quick spritz of this all over your hair and that style locks. If you want more of sort of like a very sort of complete concrete type, I know it sounds strange, but like a concrete type fix, then this just, just let your first spray dry, then go back over it and spray a second spray all over your style and then it's completely locked all day. It does not budge. Now, when I come to do a style like this here, it takes, of course, a lot of preparation and a lot of styling. I have fine textured hair, but I have quite a lot of it. Now, when I use this product, I don't get much time. In fact, I don't really get no time at all to make sure it's in shape. I have to make sure it's combed into the shape I want to style it in, and then I spray it, because as soon as I spray this, it's dry, it's instant. There is no sort of time to start maneuvering it around. I do find that if you do start maneuvering uh, the product after it's dry, you have to be a little bit careful because it's not a huge problem, but it can start to just, you can start to see a little bit of residue on the hair because it's so dry, it's so firm, it's so effective, and it's so quick. So let's then flip over onto this one. 
this is where this one comes in, because what I have found when I'm using this now, I find that as opposed to with this drying completely sort of side within seconds, this one actually allows you to build body and texture in the hair, whereas this one just freezes it instantly. So if you're not careful, you could end up with quite a, a misshapen style, whereas this one allows you to build. In fact, actually on the front here, it's a volumizing hairspray for insane volume. Yes, it does do that. But the difference with this is it's a much more flexible product. It's strong and it's firm, but it's flexible. So, for example, if you spray a little bit, you can comb the hair into the style you want. Then you can sort of hold it off to one side, a little bit of a spray again, and you can just build that volume. So, for example, the front here, what I tend to do is I take the back of my head and I comb everything downwards. And then I usually spray the product just to hold the back of the hair in. Now, because my hair is long, what I actually do now, because it is long in the back, just touching the nape of my neck now, I actually use a small black tie, and you can't see it, and then um, like a band, a very thinnish band, and then I literally do that really quite tight, so it's just like a small sort of top knot, but it towards the nape of my neck here. It looks quite cool, because then what I do is I bring all the hair down towards that point, so it looks as though it's featured part of the style. But to hold everything in nice and smooth, what I do is I spray each sort of section as I move up towards the front of my head. So as I come towards the front of my head, here, my hairline, what I do is I take each sort of gradually step, sort of stepping up towards my hairline, is I, I take a little bit of the, the section of the hair, I make sure after I'm blow drying the hair, if I go towards the ceiling, so I get that real high sort of skyscraper volume in it. And then what I do is I take a spray of this each time. Now what that does is it allows me to build the body in my hair and build the texture. Whereas if I was to do it with this, what I would end up with is real firm and quite, I can do it and I have, and I do it very often with this and it works brilliantly. But sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult because then when it comes to trying to blend the whole style in, otherwise it would just look like I've got pieces of hair rolled back, it can be quite problematic and a little bit difficult. Look great, but I've got to be careful, of course, because it's really, really strong. It can make the hair a little bit fragile when you go to comb it through, being it's longer now as well, and I've got highlighted hair. I can still do it, and I absolutely love this product because of the hold. But with this, it allows me to build the shape of my hair and I'm gradually creating volume. It's a dry spray. I can spray it in the roots of my hair. I can spray it in the lengths of my hair. And then I can brush it into place. And then after it's dry, I can spray it in again. And this really does allow me to build texture, fullness, and that much more of a thicker looking style. Now, the only slight drawback with this is, yes, it is a strong hairspray. But it's a, uh, I believe this is a four, yes. And this is a six. Sometimes I think that it would be a little bit weaker than a four because I find if you don't sort of um, if you don't build the product strength, what I actually found in when I done the original review of this when I watched the clip back, but I didn't want to redo the clip because I want to stay true, honest um, to my channel, to the clip that I'm doing and to the product I'm doing. Um, but I noticed actually that in here. I've got fine hair, so a lot of this is air. I always say my hairstyle is more air than hair. So here, you'll see that it looks dense all the way through. And I don't have what the product, the issue, what I'm just going to go on and say, I don't have that if I use this. So that ultimately, the most powerful one is this. The most best one for styling, you could say, is this. But for building body, fullness, texture, those type of real great things in fine hair, what we need, it's this one. So ultimately, I think what I'm going to be doing in the future is just having both of them. So styling and creating my style with this one and then finishing everything off with this one. So I know it's locked in for the day. Um, but what I'm trying to say here is when I look back on the review, there was part of the style which had actually fallen flatter. So when I looked and I was up against um, the light of the window, you could actually see through my style, which of course accentuates how fine my hair is in places. Like this, it looks super thick, super full. It's not. It's fine. I've got a lot of it. And if I style it the right way and if I blow dry it the right way, it can look super incredibly thick and full. And the style like this, I can rock and it can look really, really good. But then if I move over into the window, you can sort of see it's not amazingly thick all the way through. But if I do the right styling, then do you know what I mean? You can't see. It's all smoke and mirrors when it comes to hairstyles like this. But whereas this one, 
a couple of bits towards the back where I didn't sort of, as I was sort of layering my style, I didn't completely use enough of it. So just bear that in mind. It is a great product. And as it says on the front here, it's a crazy boost. It's bodybuilding hold. It does all of that. And it's great for fine hair. But if you're doing a style where it needs to be locked in like this for the whole of the day, I did find that some of the parts of my hair inside the style, like the scaffolding, I always call it, did fall flat a little bit. So there, of course, I would have wished I'd used a bit more of this. So it's great for styling hair. But I think ultimately, if you have got a style like this, then you're going to need this one because this is great as i say and we've said several times it's great for building fuller sort of styles that sort of thickness which fine hair can often lack um and volume i mean hair fine hair screams out for volume my hair if i don't style it right it sits very very close to my scalp um so a style like this i need to get that core structure right before i can start to sort of do the volume sort of pompadour style which i've got today which i absolutely love this style is great for sort of formal occasions going out for dinner friends family dates those type of things um business um business meetings, uh, interviews, that type of thing. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It looks really, really cool. It looks, you do get, you do get looks, but I like to think that it's really quite a cool style. Um, and I have to admit, I feel really quite confident when I'm wearing this style. And I really, really do like it. When I, the times I don't feel confident is when you can start to see things, uh, spaces through it. And then, because then you're just ruining the whole look. It literally does, the whole style does fall down. So when I seen that in my review of this product, I thought, ah, oh, damn, that's, that's kind of let me down a little bit on it. So just be mindful of that, that it's not as strong a hold of this, um, as this one here. They're not the same. It's when I went into my uh, local store, Superdrug here in the UK, and when I bought this one, they're sort of stood next to each other and they're made to look as though they're exactly the same. It's not. This one is a freeze, a free spray, a blasting free spray. So for short, spiky hair, fantastic. For long hair, um, of course, for a woman's amazing, glamorous, sort of long blowout looks, those type of things, lifting the hair up, spraying this, you get ultimate body. But then, of course, if you had curls and things like that, or if you wanted to do sort of updos, then this would be your one to go to because you've got that maneuverability of being able to brush the hair through, passing a comb through it whilst you're styling it. So this would be really, really good, whereas you would probably struggle a little bit with this unless you were doing a really, really sleek look. So there are benefits, absolutely huge benefits to this one. It's probably still my favourite, but in terms of volume, it's amazing to have this on hand because this one is really, really good. It's called Plumped. It absolutely does do that. It adds a lot of weight to the hair, but it's light. When I say adding weight, it's not a heavy product. It's not wet. It's dry. And it really does give you that added fullness and it allows you to build the hair up. Whereas this one absolutely just completely sprays the hair in a second and it's just stood up on end. So this is really, really good. So for, for me, if I'm styling my hair, then I'll use this one. But if I'm finishing the style off, it will be this one. And if I find that actually I've not got much time, I haven't really got the um, the time to sort of take my time and really build that volume in my hair, then after spending the time with a blow dryer or like a root lifting spray, then I'm just going to go straight into this. Because this is great, but it is a little bit more of you've got to give yourself time with this product. It's not just going to be as an instant like this one is. This allows you to build root volume it allows you to sort of build that bulk in your hair so for women's hair fantastic if you've got long hair sort of those waves that really glamorous sort of look then this is going to be incredible um for sort of men's short spiky hair or that pompadour look much shorter version of this you're probably going to be more inclined to this so the more you talk about this you can be swayed from each one they're both really really great products and i absolutely love them um and they are i mean this one's featured in my go-to sort of armory of products every single day anyway but this is certainly making its way there so i'll just tell you a little bit on the back here so crazy about volume create insanely voluminous styles we've got to be plumped volumizing hairspray and give your hairstyle a crazy volume boost from root to tips with bodybuilding hold level four this dry hairspray formula helps fix your volume and does not weigh hair down the bigger the better and it absolutely does that and i like to think that i've done this style credit to this product here so let's tell you a little bit on the back of my favorite product so stop hair up all our spray and that's exactly what it's like it's so quick it's literally like 
seconds and you've got that screaming hold um it says uh, create scandalously strong hold or fix the results the hairstyle you have already created we've got to be let your hair freeze until the next shampoo for high class styles only and that's what i really really like and what always draws me back to this because for me high class style this high class style <laughs> so it works amazingly so I think to finish this clip off, styling your hair and getting your style to where you want to be, use this as a tool, and then this is your finisher. So ultimately, really, really cool, and I would recommend both of them. So just trying to maneuver it so you can see it. I, <laughs> I, would, I would really, really recommend you using and trying out both of them. Okay, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. I hope you like the style too. Give it a go. Um, I've got lots of different clips on my channel which take you through how I style my hair like this, this particular way anyway. So please do have a look at that. But until next time, I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. Thank you very much for your company. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.